and not part of the problem. Sabi nga nila, kung hindi ngayon, kailan? Kung hindi tayo, sino? Thank you and welcome. Works and Highways, a local ordinance was passed establishing the 96-meter river easement starting from the center line of the river. This ordinance served as a legal basis for removing all structures found within the river easement. So, yung 96 meters considered yan dangerous. There's still so much to be done in the river. Three of these facilities are now being constructed in the Marikina River. So eventually, ang mangyayari niyan, lilinis na yung tubig na nati-discharge sa ilog, and that will now improve the water quality also of Pasig River. Nung pisahan natin yung cleanup dito sa upstream para yung tubig na pupunta sa Maynila ay malinis rin. At yung isa pa rin na uh, pahabol kong tanong, meron silang dam na ginawa para yung uh, from the river bago magpunta dun sa main uh, ano nila, uh, body of water, ay nati-check nila. Sa, sa Marikina po ba meron din ganun sistema o masyado po bang mahal yung ginamit na sistema ng Singapore para i-adapt dito sa rehabilitation natin locally. Thank you very much. Kami po sa Marikina, kung napansin ninyo yung ginagawa namin, hindi po kami magastos, wala po kami maraking pera. Ang jogging lane, 2 meters lang yan, manibis lang na semento. Ang importante lang talaga, malakaran ng tao na hindi na may segregation between yung bahay at saka yung tubig. Kasi kung walang jogging lane, hindi man lang papatrolin yan ng mga tao. Sa ngayon,